Hey, what's going on everyone? Trick Arrows here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be discussing Gotham Knights and what our expectations or hopes should be for 2022. Um, we've obviously known that this game has been in development for, for quite some time and um, it's coming up to, can you believe it, nine years since WB Games Montreal released Arkham Origins. So it feels like a long time. This game's been a long time coming. I know they haven't worked on Gotham Knights for the entire duration, but certainly the, um, you know, it's been in, in development for a fair while with, you know, the Damian Wayne Batman game turning basically into Gotham Knights. So a lot of the, the store story elements from those from that Damian Wayne game has been sort of transferred into this game so in terms of expectations for this year um, in terms of a release date I'm probably thinking somewhere around June or July um, I would say the earlier that they can release this game the better um, this is certainly up there as my most anticipated game for this year I'm really excited to see what WB Games um, can do on their own. Um, getting back to release dates, um, I think, yeah, the June, July sort of period would be when I would expect the game to come out. Um, I think if it was as close to the Batman movie release as possible, the better. And I think that would help to uh, sell extra copies of the game because there'll be Batman mania. Everyone will be really excited. All the trailers for the Batman film have been um, fantastic. Um, obviously not as much anticipation for this movie as something like Spider-Man No Way Home, but I think the Batman is probably most comic book people's, um, you know, most anticipated film for this year. So um, hopefully we'll get a couple of trailers um, before the release of the game. Um, yeah, it would be nice that if uh, WB Games Montreal could, you know, tell us a release date as soon as possible. I think people are really growing impatient. Um, obviously, we want the game to be, you know, as perfect as you possibly can. And these things do take time. But um, nine years between or potentially nine years between studio game releases is a little bit, uh, a little bit too long in my opinion um but i think it's just more we're really excited about what wb games can do with this game it's a fresh take on these characters fresh universe so it'll be very interesting to see what they come up with um really want a gameplay demo um really soon um as i said in my suicide squad video whether that's um at e3 or any other sort of gaming um you know convention um, to be held between now and release. Um, I think we're just really keen to um, see more gameplay. I know they showed us um, some gameplay at DC Fandom. Um, that was pre-alpha footage. So hopefully they've had a good, you know, sort of um, 18, 18 months to, you know, really improve the graphics, the look of the game, the gameplay mechanics. Um, and hopefully um, we can get some more news on Gotham Knights Um and when it should be coming out this year. So if you liked today's video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.